Hello, and welcome to this 500R8 quick tutorial on using insert points to integrate outboard effects. 500R8's insert points are perfect for when you want to integrate external effects that aren't 500 series into your DAW workflow. In this video, we are going to set up a guitar delay pedal as a send effect so that we can bust audio from the DAW and send it into the pedal for some cool delay effects. We're going to focus on Logic Pro X in this video, but check out the links in the description for information on how to do this in other DAWs. Here we have a simple session with a vocal and acoustic guitar track. We want to apply some specific delay sounds available from this pedal onto the track to give it more of an atmosphere. The most flexible and powerful way of doing this is by setting up a dedicated effects send in the DAW. To do this, we need to create a new bus in the DAW. Let's name it FX Send. Then create a new audio track for the incoming delay signal. Let's name it FX Return. Next, let's connect the pedal to 500R8's insert points. To use these inserts, you'll need a cable such as this, where it splits from a TRS quarter inch jack on one end to two unbalanced quarter inch jacks on the other. For more information on the correct cable, check out the video description. Connect the TRS jacks to the insert points, the insert sends into the pedal's inputs, and the insert returns into the pedal's outputs. This delays stereo, so we are using both slots 7 and 8. On 500R8's front panel, set the source switches to USB and turn the monitor blend control to the DAW position to monitor Logic's output. Finally, we need to configure our DAW to send and receive audio to and from the correct slots on 500R8. As we are using slot 7 and 8 for the delay, we just need to set the output of the effects send to USB channels 7 and 8, and the inputs of the effects return channel to USB channels 7 and 8. At this point, make sure the effects return track has input monitoring enabled in your chosen DAW. Let's press play. If we increase the send level of the acoustic guitar into the effects send bus, the audio is sent out from the bus into 500 R8, through the 500 series modules in slot 7 and 8, and into the guitar pedal via the insert points. The affected audio is then being picked up by the effects return track in our DAW, and sent through Logic's main output, and finally into 500 R8's monitor outputs. We can send a mix of both tracks to the effects send bus by varying their send levels. Brush against your face. Once we are happy with the general balance between the effects and the dry signal, we can then record the pedal effects back into the DAW using the effects return track we created. Just record arm the effects return track and press record. Once you have recorded the effect back into the DAW as an audio track, you can then reset the bus sends, duplicate the effects return channel and reuse the same effects send bus for a different effect. Let's add a quarter note delay onto the vocal. Now we have recorded our effects, we can treat them in the same way as any other audio track for further processing. Here are our new delay sounds, soloed, muted and then mixed in. Precipice of doubt before us One last chance To ourselves we pledge Leave those behind As a quick note, when using send effects like described in this video, make sure that the effect you are using has the mix control set to 100%. This has only been a quick tutorial on using insert points to integrate outboard effects. Every DAW handles busing differently, so please see the video description for more information. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and check out the other videos in the series for more tutorials.